yeah, I'm, I'm casting Ace versus Bad Intentions. MMG may or may not be in my call right now. I have, uh, oi. Okay, I'm, my own team is spamming me at everyone. Uh, let's. Alright, so, yeah, this, we will see Sand be banned. Reserve is banned for BI, so, Ace now will be picking for the record. Pigs is muted, so he's talking in IRC. And they're getting their fourth on. It is a 4v5. Bad intentions do have the man advantage in that case. Due to Zaluk and ZX Monster being banned in the sound boosting incident. Although, now. Uh, oops, casting with me. Yay, I'm not alone. Uh, yeah. yeah. Alright, so, Leifon is getting on, uh, okay, hi, Eep, cast, yay, like cast. yes you are indeed, we're ace versus bad intentions, Leifon will be subbing in for Dwarf Lord, um, so, Pigs, it is ace's pick right now, Sand and Cash are banned, so yeah, Sand and Cash are banned, and for the record, we might take a very long time getting the map. Depends on if the 1 in 7 randomizer likes us. So, Ace pick. They are waiting. Okay, they said wait. Ace are 4v5ing. Uh, Lego's getting on with that. It will be 4v5 with Lego, who's just taking the longest boot up process of minecraft in the history of minecraft there lego is getting on oh there yay okay so lego is getting on it's a 45 for race they will be picking the map Alright, so Pigs is talking in IRC, but for those of you who don't know, because he's muted. Surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise, yep. Toxic players. <sighs> okay. Ace will be picking. Yeah, Sand is banned by Ace. Cash is banned by Bad Intentions. I'm guessing Ace are picking Carrier, just because Pigs on Carrier is ridiculous. Eep can attest to this. Pigs is probably, other than Zephyr, is just so amazing at everything. Okay, turn Eep up. Okay, yeah. Eep talk. Hello. Okay, there. I had Eep at 26%. Nice. Yeah. Wait, why did Ace ban Sand? Um, be a bad touch, they're really good on it. Ace will be picking Atomic. Okay. So, Bad Intentions picking Temple oh, right Temple's away. Oh, not a good map for Ace. Yeah, especially in a 4v5 where Temple... In 4v5, you can do some strats on, like, really strat-heavy maps to, like, effectively nullify the mana advantage that the other team has. But on a Temple, which is the most aim-heavy map there is, like, it's... At the end of the day, you have to go huge on Temple. So, already, I think it's gonna be 2-1 Bad Intentions. Uh, Ace are... I never thought I'd... See Ace ban carrier. Okay, they are banning carrier alleyway and um alleyway and what map am I forgetting? OG alleyway and OG. Okay. Okay. Ali OG left. They will be banning Ooh, OG. OG. Alleyway. Ali's last. Ali is last, and Ali is a map. I feel like. East are not that good on without ZX. Like, if they had ZX right now, I, I would definitely pick them to win Alley. But it's a 4v5, so I think it's gonna be 2 1 towards bad intentions. Oh, yeah, I also have to technically leave IRC at Uh, alright. So, we will be getting into this. I'm gonna probably play music because unless we get. It's Saint Luck! 
Woo! Insane luck. Okay. My cat is on my sister's tap. Okay, good turbo. Okay. We actually had insane luck though. First map we get map one. Oh yeah, this was random. Yup. Oh, I picked A. But I picked A. Nice now though. Yeah, I'll I'll sub for Ace real quick. Yeah, I'll sub for Ace. I have their Discord. I'll join it really quick. Okay, let go. Alright, so, Ace on the CT side, Pig still has- fuck. He's still not blacklisted. actually blacklisted, it's just I forgot to clear it from the database, my bad. I just did that, like, right now. Okay. Alright, so, we will see Ace on the CT side, BI, or BI on the T side. And now, the players. Looking For the bad. record, Kriller only is Kriller. Um, Boynus is Taeon, just so people know. We will see, towards outside, we have picked Spotting Micro. They actually are totally basically giving up outside. Blue is towards Warehouse, and is actually in a forward position, but they could die right here. If that nade, gonna be forcing them out of position, but Pigs at the same time, gonna get the shot on Kriller. My cat is walking on top of my keyboard, but Pigs is still going ham. Taeon will finally take him down, but not after he gets dropped to 10 HP. Gloss Karn pushing out of the site. Lego will drop him to 10 HP, but at the same time, still Gloss Karn getting the kill. Glaceon with one towards outside. Three on two, but if so many. Both Taeon and Gloss are one HP, basically. And Loon is still full HP. Loon, very. Oh, so the bomb is planted at B. There are kits for the CDs. Gloss Karn stuck on the. A site gets taken down by Loon. Loon not even taking a point of damage. Very nice job. Disciplined. So now, they will looking to go to retake B. There is one player on the ramp area. That is actually fairly out of position because of how forward they are in ramp. That means that they can't actually rotate and they could also die of fall damage. That is Taeon. The last other player will be Leifon on 80 HP. 15 seconds left. Blue. Lunatic has to win this. He should have a kit on him. But at the same time, 11 seconds. He has to stick it. But at the same time, Taeyeon is buying all the time. The round is one for B.I. And Lun cannot stick it. Yeah. Yes. What? Yeah, and... And nice pings, EU versus NA. <laughs> EU team versus NA team on an NA server. Alright, so. Lego, I'm pretty sure, actually lives where the servers are still. So. We're gonna see outside in Shirley again from Bye. Yeah, it's total outside control from Bye. Uh, Ace just playing towards the A bomb site. They stacked ramp. Oh, yeah, sorry, my ASP. I thought it was A. But no, they're stacked ramp. I feel like if BI go B, Ace could just pistol rush them and definitely get the kills. It's like. So Lego actually spotting a player out towards vents, but at the same time, they will hear one control room. The bomb is planted on A. BI, I feel like they're walking into a stack ramp. That's the only area they have not cleared. Being smart, not over aggressing. Now, Ace. Are they gonna save or are they gonna just five man try to push a player, get a gun? Because a gun can snowball. The thing is, time is ticking. That will. Oh, and they pick up a gun. Yeah, that will be Crawler taking down, but they only have 20 seconds left. Uh, nothing they can really do with this round further, I would say. I, I, I feel like. Yeah, so Pigs will have a gun now. He could do damage right here, especially taking down Bronco, who looks like he was about to push. Wait, who even is Odin has a small. <laughs> He's DMing me. I feel like that's Inchan. I have a feeling it's Inchan. Because it's someone's alt that is messaging me. Okay, so now that will be 2 0 up. Only two kills happening in that round. Bronco and Lunatic. And now we will see full buy from Ace. Just playing Disciplined Economy. I think this is actually considering smoking silo, but he's not actually gonna throw it. It's a lobby take. 
Pigs will spot this out, deals a bunch of damage. He will get one onto Taeon, who pushes out. Pigs gets the second. And it gets double. Yeah, Lego will be flanking ramp. He gets one, he gets a second. And this is where Ace's strength lies. They are just some incredibly strong individual aimers. Bronco on a 104, takes down Lego. And we will see him running through yellow. But at the same time, Pigs is on the site. And that's never something you want to deal with. Lunatic picking peeking from heaven at perfect timing. The retake is there. The kits are there. And that's the round four. That was a really Acer. nice retake. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think a huge part of that was how BI. The issue with that is that they had a player on their flank and they had a player just kind of towards Michael. They were getting pushed. They're kind of getting boxed into yellow. And in that way, when you're getting boxed into yellow, you, what you want to do is just take out one of the players. You want to take out the player behind you or in front of you. You want to give yourself the space to work with. But at the same time, it's hard to take out the player in front an of you. Outside rush from Ace. From, yeah, Ace. They're playing two really aggressive outside pigs, failing basic parkour, um, but still. <laughs> so now they will Loon's be. Gonna peek out. They have. Three men outside, that's three out of the four teammates. The other player is Lobby, but Bronco instantly takes down Blue. Gloss will take down Pigs, and Loon has a de Oh, I thought he was only Deagling, but no. Lego in Lobby actually gets killed. Loon will take down Bronco. Two on three, Loon's still on full HP. And Micro is smoked off, they could run Secret, but it looks like the I are actually having a player run Heaven. That is Layfun. Let's see if they actually encounter Loon. They could catch Loon off guard right here, but at the same time, Loon... Per just gets the timing, will go down to vents, but at the same time, it's an A-plant. 1 on 3 for Loon. I've seen him win these all the way back in 2016, but at the same time, I don't think he's going to go for it. Uh, he will be falling back to control room, he knows it's not B. I feel like, yeah, he knows it's not B, he has 25 seconds. I feel like Loon's just going to save right here. His team's money is not great, they haven't really been getting kills with the exception of pig Piggies. Um, and a little bit on Lego. So, yeah, Loon just going towards CG spawn, just wants to save. If he can get an exit frag here, that would be perfect. Means that BI's money would be actually fairly worse because, yeah. Loon also, notably, picking up a nade and spawn, free $300. No one on BI does the bomb. Nice discipline play. And 3 1 for Ace. Or 3 1 for BI. <laughs> so. We'll see. Ace, let's see how they run this next setup. Because towards outside, they just got totally destroyed last round. Uh, notably losing the fights. Glaceon is going to play towards Warehouse, Pigs towards Micro. But Pigs is going super aggressive, Squeak. He's going to actually clear out Lobby, and this is huge information for Ace. So now, Glaceon getting picked outside. Huge kill from Bronco. And we will see. Actually, Taeon's still watching the lobby push. They know that Ace could push lobby at any time. I think a player glitched up for BI because it should be 4v2. But it's a 4v3. Or it should be a 5 on 3, not a 4 on 3. But, same time. They still have huge lobby presence. They could definitely catch out Taeon right off guard right here. Lego is there with the trade though. Pigs does die. But at the same time, Loon is towards heaven at that like ninja spot. 49 HP. BI having the map control are gonna be running B. Eep, are you dead? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I just don't want to interrupt your amazing cast. <laughs> Yeah, just whenever I take a pause, feel free to go in there. I know. We haven't cast all that much together. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah. BI, 24 1. Yeah. So. Let's see. BI is going for an side presence. Okay, now you're just. A star. You're cutting out on your mic, crap, that's bad. Three. Okay, we will see actually Glaceon this time towards the um, secret area, as opposed to how they were playing outside previously. Oh well, yeah, like you said, guy yeah, going for another outside presence. 
Oh, Glaceon's playing here secret. Is yeah. he gonna catch Bronco? Yeah, and they actually will catch Bronco. I don't think Bronco is ready for them to play that forward. But at the same time, Taeyeon is there, gets the trade kill. At the same time, Karn takes down Loon. And now it's left the Piggies in a 1v4. He wins these. Pigs, pigs can win these. Definitely. One on four. Known as the most toxic player in CBC. He's gonna catch that player off. That's Leifon in lobby. Great job from Pigs. One on three. 40 seconds. Pigs has all the time he wants to work with. He, he's gonna catch off a player heaven. That's great. He finds a second pick. Oh my god. He's gonna he's go gonna heaven. Oh. He actually should be ready for this. They aren't watching it. They are not watching heaven. There will be Taeon. Getting taken down. Oh Pigs with the water. Of over. course. see ace on the seat on the t side oh i don't i can't have notify on so i'm not gonna get this team to all right so ace on the t pigs just saved them from disaster a five one half on cat on atomic on the like five one for t's super good for bi but pigs saved ace from disaster this is still winnable so now the yeah, I actually playing a very, very heavy ramp here. So it's three towards the ramp area, but this time Ace are actually full pushing. S that is a great red box smoke, actually. It's gonna block off Micro and red box from secret view as well as hell. That's a great smoke. And they're oh yeah, P pigs some posted in Ace thing. They have like smokes for um yeah. garage. Yeah, yeah. Um, I same with my team. Yeah, same with my 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 teams. I used to do that all the time with JFN and like SHC and stuff, but Lunatic getting the kill on K, and now it's like man advantage for the side of Ace despite the double kill because they are in a 4v5. So now he's find the pick. Lost, last ones in ladders. Lost Karn. Yeah, towards that lot. Not ladders, area. 43 HP. He's gonna get flanked by Loon. Loon with the double with the deagle. Mm -hmm. Ace is slowly bringing it back. Okay. Alright, so now Ace 4 3. That was a great pistol round. And now BI getting zero kills. They should. They're as broke as broke can be right now. If they, it would be a stupid, stupid decision to force by here. Even buying a deagle here would potentially mean just because they got no kills on uh, economic issue. Uh, notably, Tay will see stuff. They're not, he's at the corner. They're not looking at him. But at the same time, there's a player heaven. That's Gloss Karin. They don't want to face that. Oh, Tay's playing that spot. Is he going to get caught? Oh, no, Pigs doesn't see him. Yeah, no. Lego and Pigs one past him at least four times each. Pigs taking Ben style fall damage, but still gets a double kill on Curler. Uh, Tay that, and Lay. Tay and Lay, that rhymes, is left. Lay is towards the roof, although Tay this time is going to get checked. Lunatic, too disciplined with that deagle kill. If he had a gun right there, he could have done a lot of damage. Okay. So now, Leifon, in lobby, just have it as a pistol. They're not gonna win this, they realize it. Uh, let's see if they go for any exits, because even a single exit is just important. Like, they are going to be saving their head armor, though. Just running towards. Spawn. Is late phone lagging for you? Yeah, they have 400 ping. <laughs> GG. So, no one knowing the bomb. Nice and disciplined from Ace. And Ace has brought it to 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, indeed. It's the first gun around, and this round is really going to dictate the game. We see Pigs and Loon showing up, Glaceon and Lego not really pulling their rate, and in a 4v5, you really need to pull your own weight. Although notably, Pigs without the 1v4 is just 7 and 3, which isn't all that great compared to Blue, to compare to Loon, who's just playing consistent. So, now we will see 
there's Glosskarn in the spot that Tay was playing. Glosskarn will have to fall off, takes a lot of fall damage, but will get a pick. That's an untradeable pick, essentially, for Ace. But, Glosskarn actually rotating towards B, so that presence towards A is actually slightly towards less. Secret. He's going to secret. We will see Tay actually pushing towards, oh, actually, that's Crawler, sorry. Pushing towards Lobby Pigs with a knife Pig kill. Gets a knife. 214. Loon and Pigs, two people you want in this situation. Pigs is full HP. Loon is full HP. So both two eight two full HP players on both are out fragging the top fragger PI, who is Gloss Karn, who is also low because of the fall damage and just damage from Lego in general. So the two ace members, that is Loon and Pigs, are going to be running towards ramp. And there's no B presence oh. whatsoever from BI. They they're gonna be playing Bronco retake. just missed them. Yeah. Although importantly, they're gonna be playing retake. And retake in this situation, there's the bomb down though. Do they have the bomb? Ace, Ace has the Ace doesn't have bomb, I think. Yeah. Or maybe they're trying to So they're gonna actually catch Tay right off guard. There's one player having that's Loon. Loon's gonna win the fight. And they make it a 2v2. Are they gonna check heaven? Is he gonna check heaven? No, no. they already killed a player there, so they don't expect that player, but that's Loon still wins the duel. Loon on 22 HP in yellow. 1v1. Gloss Karn, half HP. Loon, two, 22 HP. Both is what a balloon gets the perfect timing. And Loon gets it. Loon hears the reload from Gloss Karin. And that's huge. That was huge game sense. They heard the reload from Karin. And in that case, that just means that you can push through yellow because you know that they're reloaded. You can't cancel reloads in CVC. So basically perfect timing, perfect game sense from Loon, and nice clutch from Pigs and Loon, even though Pigs only got one kill. Played a huge part in it. Obvious, I don't think Loon would have won that one before without him. And now, Ace in the driving seat. Have the money and have the lead. There is one player outside. That is going to be Karin. They are mixing up their spot. They, they Last time they played nice towards heaven. Smoke. Yeah, admittedly that garage smoke isn't all that helpful because that exact angle that Karin's playing. Taeyeon, although, will peek secret, gets piggies, but Glaceon trades. Glaceon on the 1 on 4, only going 4 to 5 this map. They have to win this duel versus Karin right now, or else this is more than likely over. They're getting surrounded. They're getting flanked. They will take down Crawler. They're no longer fully surrounded. Oh, gets a double. Glaceon has to ace to win it. There is a player towards green box, and that, that player is Bronco. Bronco finds the kill. Yeah. <laughs> So now, 5-5. Five, five. Atomic is the map. This is Ace's map pick. They're in a 4v5, and while well, I think it's going to be 2-1 for BI, if this t they take this map, there definitely still is potential. They are all actually playing probably better than BI when it comes to aims, just the 4v5 is really not working out for them. They will take full lobby control. There's only a player towards Squeaky who will get a little bit of information, but actually will be forced back at risk of dying. There is a player towards Radio Room, playing actually very aggressive Radio Room. That's Lafon, ex-JFN member, and one of the stronger players on this squad, but only going to 1-5 to five actually. So, not pulling, the, not really showing up right there. There is a player yellow box, and interestingly, Ace actually are running into a 3 outside stack. Yeah, Gloss Karn is 34 HP at red box, and Tay just got dropped to 12 HP. Really nice damage, but at the same time, they have actually really still don't have control. Crawler just tried pushing towards ladder on roof, gets taken down. There's a player radio room, but Loon checks it. Now there still is a player ramp, that's Taeon. He's gonna catch one player out, but Lego is there for the trade. So... Yeah, we will see three players, all three players race towards ramp, two players left for BI, Karin and Bronco to the top fraggers for BI. And now, we will- Karin is 34 HP, that is quite important. Bronco is full, so 2-3. And now, Glaceon is gonna actually get caught out at ramp, Bronco with a nice clean kill, not taking damage, that's important. Bronco with another, it's now left to Lego, he's gonna catch out Bronco, but at the same time there's Karin, Bro Lego flicks! Lego wins it. Yeah, and <laughs> Lego with a nice flick. Gloss Karn a little bit late on helping their teammate, and that's what cost them the round. If Gloss Karn there was their second earlier, that was theirs. That was BI's. At the same time, we are going into round number 12. BI have to win it to go into overtime versus Ace. 
where Ace playing actually incredibly well in terms of their aim. They're just they are doing having good strats picks a very very good IGL as much as he is toxic. His IGLing is top tier. So now we will see one player towards warehouse. Uh, they could possibly go for the smoke. But at the same time, Gloss Crown is actually playing more of an info angle towards Secret and not actually trying to take do damage. They're, they are red box pigs, just knows they're there. They're trying to keep, not let them actually get anything. There is a player heaven to support, but that player heaven actually really can't trade with Gloss at all. A minute left on the clock. No real action has happened so far this round. Just a little bit of lobby control, actually full lobby control, sorry, from Ace. There is a player though on nuclear silo on oh, A. Oh, Bron Bronco's gonna get caught out. Maybe. That's Tay getting caught out. Yeah, Bronco towards heaven. That Molly towards vents and Loon with the double entry. Loon showing up, 17 to five. He gets picked in lobby. It's a one on three for Lay. They have to win this to keep their team Lay in the map. the dream alive. So now, they know that they are towards lobby. They don't have time to relocate. They are gonna catch out blue, but instantly Ace tries to trade, but no. Cigar. And now, they will get one, Lay almost with a third, but Pigs, consistent as ever with that aim, gets the kill. Uh, can you, oh wait, no, you're not, te you're technically not stuck. I'm technically what? I'm not staff for CPC, I was ask, about to ask if you could get stats. Oh yeah, I figured out how to get stats for Mac. If that matters. Uh, it's- I've always known how to do that, but... Then how'd you do it, Nodo? Um, you just go to the text file in .minecraft slash podcast plus slash stats. Okay, okay, Nodo. <laughs> That's always been clear. Um, it's because on Windows, we specifically tell your operating system to open Notepad and access it, but obviously Mac doesn't have Notepad, so you just have to find the file manually, so... Dwarf Lord is going to be subbing in. I wonder. Bro Taeon subbing out. Taeon only going 6 to 10. Crawler going 2 to 10. Next map is Temple. And BI. Atomic again. Those players are out of the loop. All right. No, no, I made the jump. I made the jump. Oh my god. Yeah, but too bad. <laughs> you look at down. I look down on you. What? I got kicked. Yeah, no, oh, that's that's mind. why. Because CVC is a good game. No, because I t told people not to pick team because then it means the lobby instantly ends in that serve. Oh, oh, no one chose a team. Yeah, that's exactly why because it's this. Reserve this. Is this the next map? Banned. Nope. It's banned. What? Don't. What are we looking for? Uh. What's it? Oh, temple. Yeah. So I'm gonna be playing music just for the people who get insatiably bored by um. It's almost like that. Hypixel should fix the game. Yes, give them some nice ASMR music. What? <laughs> I'm Jesse streaming UDF right now. I want to play in that scrim, but. <laughs> I, it's like 10 minutes or something.
CVC is fun. <laughs> Is Yex coming? Uh, he's banned. Wait, Yex is? Yeah, he is. Why is Yex banned? Uh, cause sound boost, that's why. He was the one. He was part of the Yak team. But I thought they didn't get banned. They did. Are you allowed to tell people who got banned? No. ZX was well, one of them. All the you kind of just told me ZX got banned. ZX is open about it though. That's the thing. He's he was the one who basically blew the whistle on the sound boosting. So he, did did he come forward? Yeah, he was the one who came forward. Hmm. Okay. I love Hypixel. Great developers. Oh, Eep, on the forums, go agree with it. I, I, I did that before you did. Did you just see the announcement? Yeah. I helped write the post. Oh, I haven't read the post though. I'll read it now. It's I'll just, find it. It just lists bugs and says fix I'll, them. I'll read it for our Cops vs. Crit is, is a game on high pixel that hovers around. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm kind of tempted to announce it on Podcrash, but I don't think I'm allowed to do that. Um, but no, um, like. The thing is, anyone watching this stream, um, just, I, it's obviously really boring, really boring to watch just choose maps. There's a form linked to the competitive CVC Discord. You can always go to this Discord at discord.me slash competitive CVC. And it just, it's such an important thing. We need these bugs fixed. Um, so I beg anyone who's in this, yeah, anyone who is in watching the stream and has not already showed support for that thread, Make it so the Hypixel admins actually notice the, our game. Make it so that they, you know, fix our game. Because it has so many game-breaking bugs that... Oh, yay, Temple! On no doubt. Yeah? Just curious, how do you think MS Ops would work in CVC? Um, MS... Do you think it would be balanced? No. I, I just because of how the Minecraft hitbox works, um... MS Ops and CVC would be overpowered. The damage for the sniper is good right now. The issue is how long it takes to shoot. Okay? As well as the scope's useless. But what's wrong with MS Ops? There, uh, what's wrong with MS Ops? Um, yeah. just to one shot no matter what is just ridiculously overpowered in the context of Minecraft where the hitbox is so big compared to CSGO. So now, we will- oh, But like, then- Okay. Yeah. So yeah, uh, continuing this contact, this Just conversation cast, later. Cast. Yeah, we will see Ace on the T side, B on the CT side. This is their map pick as well as Ace R4 V5 down. CX, even though he's on the roster, can't play. He's banned. Let CX play. <laughs> so we will see Ace running their smoke strat. This is a known smoke strat that they run, although they added my smoke to it and they don't have a player who can throw that smoke. Um, they're missing, yeah, they're missing one of the third smokes on their temple smoke strat. At the same time, BI kind of caught off guard by this. This is giving Ace actually a free plant without significant damage being done to them. 
Um, we actually, this is huge because Ace have so little damage done to them. Loon will be in mid, gets a deagle kill, equalizes it. Loon with a second deagle kill. And by the way, Loon's a deagle god. that's a raid boss deagle, not a, um, he, he does have a helmet. Loon did get raid bossed by his teammates. That's how Ace run their setups. At the same time, Dwarf. Ace in a two on one, pushing Dwarf. Dwarf. Dwarf's on 17. Is he gonna get knifed? Yes, he gets knifed. So yeah, nice Dwarf with a nice try, but Loon with the just insane deagling is gonna win it. Now, two kills for Dwarf. That's it. That means that BI at max, because they only got two kills and really nothing else, they actually are going to be on an eco. Their money is low. Dwarf at maximum can probably buy bought Kevlar in addition to a helmet this round at maximum. It looks like an eco. Yeah, it's just a full eco for the side of BI. Lego with the kill on Bronco. Pigs dropping under, taking fall damage. Wish you just gonna point it out. You don't want to take fall damage. Pig's gonna- Pigs flanks tons, fully catches gloss and krill. So now two on four. Uh, Loon is towards middle, has just the deagle. I think he just wants to not spend money and doesn't want to lose it because obviously Loon is one of the more aggressive players for the side of Ace, and I- Oh, Pig spots out Dwarf. He will get that kill. Pig's pot potentially with the 4k right now. He's gonna spot out Leifon. Leifon, though, could do something. Depends. 36 HP, Loon with the deagle. Loon <laughs> Teague's <laughs> Yeah, Loon definitely one of the better Deagle players in CPC up there with Odin, Zephy, Gary, and the like. So, yeah. This time, hit Ace, winning 2-0, BI. They definitely want to stop the winning streak here, because two rounds on Temple T side is bearable. Bearable to deal with. You obviously don't want it. You're always hoping for 6-0 CT as a Temple CT side, but at these days it's becoming less and less common with a, some T strike stress developing. But Ace running their smoke strat. Loon is on the lurk, gets the kill on Dwarf towards Bridge, and that's actually gonna that's gonna distract BI away. Two players rotate towards the Ace site way too late. And so now that was a great lurk from Loon. Gets the kill. Lego will get taken down in mid. And Glaceon as well. But now the bomb is planted. Pigs and Loon are isolated in the situation. Loon rotating up to meet his teammate. Gloss will get Pigs the kill. Out. Gloss potentially with the ace. But no, Loon is going to get taken down by Leifon. Bomb did go down, so ace, no matter what, will have money next round. But the round goes to BI. So yeah. For contact. So now we will see Ace. They they do run smoke strats and actually fakes revolving around their smoke strats. They look like they are going to be going into setup. And yep, they're running their smoke fake smoke strat. They will throw decoys into these smokes after a few seconds, make it sound like they're actually pushing. But at the same time, they messed up the Hesus mid smoke, which sucks because now they know it's a fake. But at the same time, Glacier with one entry onto Krill, Dwarf is far and away that's a great nade onto lego but lego with one gets not gonna get the second pig's taken down loon and glaceon left loon is on the alert gets one towards under loon though gets traded by gloss karin glaceon now on 14 hp gets one has to pre-fire this angle otherwise exactly what happened gloss karin with the kill and that fake would have worked better if lego did not screw up the he's a mid smoke because screw up the Hesus mid smoke, the issue with it is that um, they could see the decoys. And yeah, Ace's smoke strat revolves around, like, you know, not missing the smokes. <laughs> so now, actually, relegate. Blue was relegated to an SMG. The money is not good. So, smokes this time actually do hit, but they will get the dinks. They know it's a f actual proper mid strat for the side of Ace. These smokes definitely work better when you have the third player uh, throwing uh, my mid smoke um, because it will fill in the gaps. That molly will mess up towards B tons. <laughs> Loon with one kill onto Bronco towards mid Lego with another onto Krill. Blue only has an SMG, but it's playing probably the best angle possible for SMG on Temple, which is close B tons. Which is a very smart idea. Glaceon with that kill will get an actual proper gun. And now, 2 on 4, 
Karn and Dwarf are stuck. Loon is on the lurk, as always. He's gonna get one. Loon, ooh, ooh. Yeah, and Pigs gets the other. So, Loon definitely showing up in these games. Top rank on both maps so far. Uh, so, yeah. Ace winning 3-2 on Temple's T side. This is actually very impressive. Their T side is a very strong Temple T side. Uh, yeah. They just don't have the third player to throw uh, this this specific smoke right here, which sucks for them. But they actually are in their smoke setup. I go. Everyone is ready to throw smokes. They are gonna throw up at the same time. Krill pushes under, drops the bomb, gets the trade though. On. Pigs will get the trade. That is Glacier untaken down. So the, the mid smokes were thrown, but Loon is pushing under as well. Smoke is thrown, but at the same time, Karn gets one kill onto p mid in Piggies. What's in chance? I enjoy C9 Stewie TK. C9 Stewie TK. Oh, that was meant for G chat. You can ignore that. Yeah. Alright, so Layfon actually towards mid. Lunatic is under. See if they oh, could go for some bamboozle plays. Loon wins it. And Loon wins it. <laughs> Loon spinning. Loon, the best Smash Heroes player in Smash Heroes, takes the skills to CVC. And now it will be PI. Four, two, down. Blues ahead. Rip. This is not gonna be good for Ace. Alright, so the notorious head glitch is gonna this it depends on how BI still play this. BI's T side temple is actually very good. Uh, similar to Ace's actually. So that nade is good onto Krill, drops onto half HP, but at the same time Ace need more than damage. They need kills right now. Pigs is on the flank, he is in position. He's gonna be actually forced back a tiny bit. There is one player on the side, that's Krill. The other players are actually all spread out towards B main. They wanna take down Piggies. But 30 seconds left. The time is ticking. Ace have to do something right now. Pig's gonna drop to 9 HP. Lego is spamming towards mid, but there's still no kills. 19 seconds left. Are we actually gonna see a round with no kills? I just, please, I wanna see it. I beg, I beg high pixel. Loon's debating. Yeah, Loon, I don't think he-, he Krill's gonna get taken out by the bomb, probably. Maybe? Oh, no, Ram. No, Bronco with the kill. Only kill of the round. <laughs> I want to see a round with no kills. I'm sorry. It's it's, it's so rare. <laughs> I think I've only casted one round ever that was like that. Blue is back this time though. Uh, no kills for Ace, although no kills for BI either. Um, so Ace are just going to be saving. I think they're actually could possibly potentially just push bridge on this eco, catch someone off guard possibly catch their lurker but we will see just a standard b rush nice smoke although at the same time ace are all stacking bridge they want to just find someone getting greedy get that gun hopefully snowball with it although at best it's a gun taken away do some damage save it save yourself some money make sure that and you lose rounds that you can just you're less smgs compared to like ak's This is a smart angle, Pigs. Especially when your teammates are watching all the angles. You seeing this, Eep? Sorry, I'm, I'm reading the thread. Do you see Eep playing this 200 IQ angle? Wait, who? who? Pigs is playing this 200 IQ angle. What? Where's Pigs? Where's Pigs? CT. Where? CT? No, look at him. He's just staring at the ground. His teammates are watching the angles, and we actually just got around with no kills! No, no, his dream came Screenshot true. Screenshot! Around with no kills! <laughs> so now we will see Ace buying, BI not getting any eco money. So, they will mess up the Heezus mid smoke, and they also will mess up the Pig's mid smoke, and my mid smoke. Okay, they just messed up like four mid smokes. All of those missed. 
I'm sorry. There's four. <laughs> they missed four mid smokes. The only one that was close to good was my mid smoke, but it still messed up. And Lego with a kill onto Crawler in tons. We'll get one. Gloss will take down pigs towards middle, but at the same time, it is the round for 30 seconds left. Time is ticking. Ace have to do something. Every player is low though. 4BI, every single player is low. Lego has to check his right side though. Blue. Lego. Check your corners, bud. Glaceon on the flank though is gonna take him down. Loon is just gonna fall back. But Bronco doesn't let him. If Lego checked his corners, that was Ace's round right there. I'm, I'm not kidding. They actually will hit the smoke this time. But then they miss another one. Dwarf is sniping towards Tuttles. He's playing a safe angle, but Dwarf does have the sniper. They he Ace will hear this, okay? So they don't want to peek any long angles now. They know that l Dwarf is sniping. It's just a deagle buy for the side of Ace. They are playing for overtime for the looks of things. And we will see Loon getting sniped by Dwarf. Oof, that's gotta hurt. But now we will see Bronco actually pushing towards Bridge and Tuss. He's actually debating which to go towards, but chooses to go towards Tuss. Take down Glaceon. Pig's left with a Deagle and 97 HP. One on five. He does not win these. He does not win these. <laughs> Team Ace from the side of Bad Intentions. Nice job. For those who don't know, a team ace is when each player in your team gets one kill. The kills are evenly distributed. And they... Okay, 3v5. Who's lagged out? Glaceon is lagged out. Pro the, probably the worst player for ace, but at the same time, you never want to see that happen. It's still a player. BI yeah, really needs to learn how to throw mid smokes properly. I'm sorry. If you're gonna spend $300 on a smoke, you, you need to throw the smoke, right? Loon this time is Pigs' is flanking T-spawn. Uh, okay. What? Why is Pigs flanking T-spawn? He's in, Pigs is in T-spawn. He's a CT. He has 35 <laughs> seconds left. Loon will get one sniper. Loon actually has been sniping before it was cool. What is... Pigs needs to run. Oh, Pigs can... Oh. Why did Pigs run through T-spawn? Do you have to cast the last game, Noda? Yes, I do. So now, 1-1, one, one, last map will be Alleyway. Uh, Ace not winning a single round on their CT side, but at the same time, they did a fairly decent job. Don't threat team. I upload the threat. Okay. Get your phone, Nodo. That's not my phone. What? Yeah, it is. It's definitely not my phone. Nodo, what is your skin? Um, it's a character from my favorite video game ever. What's your favorite video game ever? Hmm, I wonder if I've told... Okay, hint. It has the same exact lettering as CVC. What do you mean? Like, like the acronym for it is is the acronym for it is CNC, okay? CNC? Yeah, like some noobs call it CVC CNC. The acronym for it is CNC. Um, it consists it of is, a uh... it consists of a terrorist organization that are obsessed with a green crystal, um, trying to take over. It's a real-time strategy game. Okay, you, uh, it's coming. Oh, I, I, I already know it. What is it? <laughs> Sh should I expose you? Yeah, sure. It's where my pro. Command and conquer. Yes. Okay. Yes. Is it that fun? It's amazing. It's legitimately what? amazing. I love it. Is it like first-person shooter or like controlling an army? It's controlling an army. It's a real-time strategy. It's controlling an army. Do you play? Play against other people? You can. It has sing it has really good single player and really good multiplayer. Both do you are. still play it? Yes, I do. Yeah, my profile picture and skin are both from it. 
Alleyway, let's go. We actually have gone good luck. Okay. So, we are going to be getting into map 3 of this series. Choose spectator. Ace is actually a pretty good alley team. Yeah. Ace is indeed a pretty good alleyway team. Message. I just know that they're horrible at temple. Map 3, I I casting map 3. Oh, stats, crap. Crap, crap, I did, I forget stats, did I forget stats, did I forget stats. Oh, nope. Did somebody get, nope. Rip. Okay, yeah. So, Ace on the CT side. BI on the T side. BI have definitely looked better on their T sides today, just in general. I will say that, yeah. BI have looked better on their T sides, especially. We have um, Pigs, Pigs and Loon playing Banana. All He's gonna pre nade it. Although that nade. Someone misses their nade. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we will see actually only Loon towards Banana. All three players are towards Arch, otherwise for Ace. Loon is just playing a Deagle Angle Banana. That nade is gonna miss, just gonna force a little bit out. But at the same time, what player is rotating for some reason? Actually, Glaceon getting caught out by a nade. You need to run from those people. And now, we will see Baron- Oh, Loon on the flank. Loon on the flank. Loon getting a Deagle Headshot right away onto one player. But Dwarf still with a Headshot. Two on five. Pigs and Lego. Lego gets taken down, Pigs in the 1 on 5, he doesn't win these. Pigs fully wins these. Actually no, he doesn't win pistol rounds. Pigs doesn't win pistol yeah, rounds, he wins- he's running. If he had a gun, I would say he wins this, but... <laughs> Everyone is hunting, Pigs is ready for it, he should- So done. Oh my god, they didn't see him. Let him pass. <laughs> Pigs Yo, is Pigs is probably going nuts. <laughs> yeah, he lets him pass. Let's rock a bounce. Oh no. <laughs> we'll get one player. Oh, he's so Eight seconds. Is he gonna. <laughs> he will get knife though. He misses. He whiffs four shots. Oh, and they got two bomb kills. That's huge. Pigs though whiffs four shots close point blank on a guy on 18 HP. Do you see what Lego said? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly like, though, if, if you're like, hunting uh, down for someone, like that's the one place where you check like every corner. I'm gonna point though, point out though, that if you have quick pro FOV like I do, you're actually, actually I'm on 80 FOV casting, and I saw that in the corner of my eye. I saw where he was, just running through it on 80 FOV casting. Note, I play on quick pro, but cast on 80. So like if I you play on quick pro, yeah. Um, oh my god, exp expose no doubt. Yeah, no, I play on Great Pro. Um, the reason is because um, that I one weekend when I was playing CBC, I got Vertigo, which is like where basically your body loses all its sense of balance, and so basically seeing anything moving would make you feel like sick, like dizzy and like seasick and stuff. But basically, um, if you have a higher FOV, it actually nullifies the effects a fair amount. So uh, even though back then I played on 80, I turned to Quake Pro because it made me feel uh, less sick back then in that week, and I just then got used to it. Also, I play on nine. I play 91. Also, it just like helps you see your corners better. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're going so much faster. It's weird. Yeah, it does. Although this time we will see just clean anti eco from side BI. Two zero up. East. Don't want to lose to BI. They don't want to lose their playoff spots, but they obviously are hoping for good qualifications for the major. Good qualifications for the major are good because obviously league results will impact major seeding, and you want good seeding. Kind of obvious reasons. Leifon missing a need towards the banana area but at the same time we will see loon gets one kill pigs with another towards the banana area they are pushing the bomb is dropped and pigs with one pigs with two and now it's a two on four dwarf and leifon have to run away they are gonna throw that smoke behind them a lego is there for the flank and lego gets two 
So Ace winning the first gun round very cleanly. Nice job from Pigs. Nice job from Lego. Nice job. Well, nice job from Pigs, Lego, Loon, everyone. Um, so now, Ace, one, two. Losing 1-2, but they did just win first gun round. BI will still have money, but if they lose this round, they won't. So, it's actually important right now that they, with this full buy this round, if they if they lose this round, they won't have the greatest money ever. So now, BI take towards apps control, and this is honestly the weak spot of Ace on this map, is you only have two players, but Lego, he's only gonna have really slow reactions, not gonna have that shot on Crawler. Place you on. Bye, no, no. But wait, what? You're going? I'm gonna go shovel snow. Canada problems. Yeah, I know. We got like two feet of snow here, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be back. Jesse's screaming right now. Yeah. Just go. Yeah. So we will see Glacier on getting one kill. Pigs get taken down by Karn towards mid. Lunatic last one alive, one on four. Has only 14 HP though. So he's gonna be running, saving. Doesn't want. It. His team only has four players, but at the same time losing He's this gun round. So I am casting. All right, so we will see Leon just saving. He does have to do so, and we will see potentially bomb deaths. Nope. So you won't die in the bomb in that corner if you have high health, but if you have low health, which is what happened to Piston, you will die in that corner. Um, so, cool thing that happened in CSGO, for those of you who don't know, who don't follow it, a player actually, uh, threw a nade, like, right there, into that corner right as the bomb was exploding, because, and got, like, two kills with it. So, yeah, so, we will see this time, BI working towards apps, and this is honestly the weak part of Ace's setup, because they... It, with four players, you have to play so spread out that you don't actually have, you can't really focus on having mid or aft presence. Lego though, Lego and Glaceon going to get one kill, but are forced back. Their rotate should be coming through. Pigs is there to help out his teammate in Lego Lover. Lego gonna be peeking though, gets one onto Dwarf, should fall back right now. He cannot afford to die. Three on three. Pigs is anchoring towards Banana. Lego is with Lunatic towards the arch side. Crawler though, getting dropped to eight HP. And we'll see Lay Font on 100 HP. Pigs is gonna catch one person towards Banana, gets the kill. Curler will get taken down by Loon. And now it's one on three for Lay Font. They are towards T spawn on a full HP. Gonna do some damage, but falls back without actually taking anything. They smoke T spawn. That was kind of useless smoke. But actually, let's see. Does Lego actually think they're T spawn based on that smoke? If so, that would be huge. But instead, no, Lego's gonna find them. Misses the shot though. Lefon not checking their corners. And 30 seconds left. Lefon has 30 seconds. The bomb is dropped in mid. The bomb is dropped. This is smart. Okay, so T steps smoked off. Lefon will have to stew TK through it. But they're not gonna have it. Actually, the bomb is banana. 15 seconds. There's two players here. The last player is hiding. This is great work from Ace. They know that the player doesn't have time. They just need to hide. And Lefon is not gonna win this fight for Saloon anyways. They they will get the kill on Loon, but no time. Has to fall back. And that's the round win for Ace. And that's actually really bad money for the side of BI now. Because Lifon will be able to drop. <laughs> Only them and Crawler got kills, so that's low in terms of that standpoint. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, $300 is the difference between having a helmet and being forced to downgrade your gun to get a helmet. So, once again, Ace playing this 2 2 setup. We are going to have BI totally taking out three players. Actually, Four players towards apps, one player just watching their flank. There is one player at archway, that's Glaceon. He's gonna take a fight with Crawler. Crawler wins it. Half HP for him. But at the same time, there is a player who rotated towards us. Lunatic is pit, gets Lafon. Four on three. Ace will trade that kill. And now it's actually their sights being fully wrapped. Lego is stuck. Yes, Lego's staying alive. Pigs comes traps, helps out to see me. Lego, how is he alive still? 
And now Dwarf is stuck on the bottom slate, taking a name battle versus the player who don't want to win piggies. Lego on the flank, Pig still gets the kill. And now it's left to Bronco, full HP. The bomb is dropped, but Lego oh, Bronco gets one. He does get headshotted though, he's half HP. Pigs will calm this out. Pigs known for those good comms. But no, Lego tried to change position. Lego, why are you running in the middle of the open? In a one on one scenario. So apparently Piggy's told him to do that. <laughs> okay. So now, we will see Ace losing 2-4. The T-sides are better, obviously, because you can play more as a group and less spread out on the T-side. Definitely. So Pigs, there's a player mid, that's Gloss Karn. They already did get actually hit a fair amount. Pigs will get the kill. Lucason will actually steal it from Pigs. But at the same time... So now, we'll see, 4-on-4, four four. man advantage for Ace, health advantage for BI though. Or, not man advantage, it's equal. I'm used to 5v5. Uh, so Lego will get one kill, Dwarf will trade onto Glaceon, but Glaceon was insanely low, and that's the player you want to have picked if you obviously don't want any players picked, but if you're Ace, that's the player you want. Loon gets headshot down to 40 HP, but she gets one deagle tag. Pigs with one kill towards construction onto Bronco, but now it's a retake. Crawler coming from Banana. He's gonna spot out players, but Pigs is in a perfect position to exploit this. Pigs with the kill, last player alive, is going to be Layfon on half HP towards construction. It's gonna take. The players are low, but the time is as well. Piggy's on 26 HP. Loon with that deagle getting the kill. And that's the round for Ace, and then now they will have the money advantage on to a significant extent versus BI. Could definitely in position to equalize at 4 4. So now, Ace. R us. They are going for actually a banana play right now. So Lego, Glaceon, Piggies. All going towards Vanilla. Loon just with a Deagle. This is actually what he likes to do on an anti eco because he doesn't want to give up a gun potentially, as well as he is actually a very strong Deagle player. Let's see. Check your corners, check your corners, check your corners, check your corners. Lego finally checks his corners. There's a player in construction though that will be Layfon hiding behind the box. That was actually positioned for Dwarf to Ninja Views right there if Lego did not check that. But no, Lego holding towards Dark. And. You will see piggies on this lurk. Spots out Crawler. Still life on alive in construction though. Crawler is gonna fall back trying to get behind piggies. Uh, piggies just running through. Life on 14 seconds left on the bomb. One player is indeed banana. That will be Karin. Gets taken down by piggies. Clean Antico for the side of Ace. Oh my goodness. No time. No time. Life on. Cutting a second too short. <laughs> Lay almost with the ninja defuse. And that would have been a steal and a half from BI. So now, we will see Ace pushing towards Banana very fast. Dwarf is forced back. Lay. This tall grass, by the way, is AIDS to throw nades against because, like, it bounces off your smokes and stuff. And so Crawler has to push mid. He is going to get taken down low by Piggies. Crawler, there is a player in apps. That's Gloss. And they're going to get taken down by Piggies. Bronco is towards apps. Could catch Piggies out, but no. Piggies gets caught on the reload. Bronco, though, as well. Piggies is there. Ace potential for him. And he is going huge. 12 to 3. Layfon is actually Dwarf. That's going to get pushed by Piggies. Dwarf, though, punishing his greed. Going to get that kill. So 2 on 3, this is still winnable for BI, especially considering they have 30 seconds and they have defuse kits. So now, Dwarf coming from that quad lane. He's gonna catch out one player, but he's gonna whiff! No, that's... 
If he gets that kill, that was so totally winnable. But Glaceon this time takes down Leifon Dwarf. Is stuck. 15 seconds. Just picked up a kit. He's gonna take... Try to take down one, but Loon is there to help out his teammate. Good timing, good coordination. And a great round from Ace Ardos. So now, BI down 5-4. They are in the man advantage. But... They are not hitting their shots. Dwarf there. If he takes down Lego, that's a one on two when you have a kit in a really strong position. That was winnable. But no, it's not happening. Luna takes this time towards mid. Gonna spot out some info. Pigs towards banana. Will throw that pre molly. This is um, a molly you throw from like right here. You just throw it like that. And then you throw it and then it'll land there. But Lego this time actually getting taken down by Gloss Karhan. So, the quad side will be smoked, but that smoke has a pretty big gap in it on the right side. But, at the same time, they are not using that smoke. They, I believe, we're just trying to force back, make it seem like... Trying to make it seem like they're going towards B when they are not. Every player's towards Banana, but at the same time, Pig's 6 HP. Loon and Glaceon still full, but they're gonna have to put push as a team. Curler has to call it low mid, but Glaceon with the double entry, that's huge! No damage done. Three on three. 57 seconds left, but the bomb will be planted. Towards new box by Lunatech. Glaceon, though, getting dropped to zero HP. Pig's just playing this off angle. That's his best hope. Off angles, get a one and done spot. You might, uh, might only get one kill, but it's enough to influence the retake. Loon playing towards Banana. Has to do something. He's gonna do quite a bit of damage, but Glaceon is there. Takes down one. One player gonna be pushing towards construction. One towards Banana, but the Banana player goes down. That's Klaus Karn. Brocco will take down Glaceon. Has to take down two more, though. And Loon won't let him. Every player from Ace showing up. Low is Glaceon on 7-7, seven seven, but still playing incredibly well. Only a 0 0.99 rating. Whereas BI, they're up against the ropes. They are one round away from being from losing a 4v5 against Ace RS. And I said this earlier in, in the UDF vs CSF match. Ace are a scary team when they have pickies. But at the same time, they're not a scary team when pickies is taken down like that by Dwarf towards Banana. Glaceon. We'll take down Gloss Karn, that's a 3 on 4 now, but at the same time, there's actually- one player is totally isolated towards Banana, they can now fall back, however, there is- that is Lego who can fall back, but, there are two players towards mid, they're actually ready for this play, 2-2, two, two. but at the same time, Crawler is gonna be having to fall back towards Brackets, he want- he does not want to peek that, but at the same time, Brocco take down Lego, he peeks towards top mid, and it's a 2 on 4, Loon and Glaceon, both full HP, Loon has been playing incredibly well this series. We'll get the bomb plant. Gets the money at the very least for his team. They're gonna smoke off Moto. Yeah, Moto will be smoked off by Loon. That's a nice job. That's actually gonna basically isolate this player in Crawler. But at the same time, BI have can take their time. They have 30 seconds. Glaceon playing this off angle. It's gonna get checked out. Loon and Glaceon get one kill. Loon will get taken down. Glaceon left in pit 6 HP. And the bomb's not planted for her. Stuck in pit, 19 seconds. And Dwarf is going to be defusing it. Leifong with the kill. So, that round will go to the side of BI. They have to win one more for overtime. That was a nice try. Um, the main issue there was that Loon was just trapped on the site. Nothing he could do there. He did get the bomb plant. His team will be able to full buy in the last round, which is important. You don't want to have low money last round for overtime. So, yeah, 2 on 4, nice try from Blue and Loon, but at the same time, 2-3, kind of typical setup on Alleyway, that's a good nade from Dwarf, no it's not actually, he aimed way too high, uh, but at the same time, Ace towards Banana, just trying to get any sort of control, Crawler though, going overzealous in mid, let's see if they check this angle, Claws Car though, getting a peek, does quite a bit of damage, but still could get caught up, Lego is there, catches Lego out there. Catches Gloss out with their greed, but Crawler takes down picks towards mid three on three. The last round potentially, but Crawler, he's doing work. He's gonna get the bomb down in apps. He is 13 HP, but that's not an angle that Ace want to be pushing. Now, Blue and Lay 
are in fighting towards Banana, but at the same time, Blue falls back with the help of their teammate. But Blue gets an incredible shot from Dwarf. That is an incredibly hard shot to hit. And Dwarf hits it. Loon will get one onto Krolu. The bomb is down naps. He has 45 seconds to work with, which is plenty of time in a clutch scenario like this. Loon and the one on two. Both players should be playing together, but he will do some damage to one player. Who that is, I believe, Lay, who is running towards Apps. Loon going towards Mexico. They spotted him in Mexico. He just threw a smoke. Dwarf is trying to win it. 25 seconds left. 20 seconds has indeed passed since it's been a one on two. Where, like, Loon has to get the bomb. He has to get this kill right here. Or... Okay, Loon has. There's no time. There's no time. He can't get to the bomb site. He has to get both kills. But BI, they're playing spread apart. This is how you should play the scenario. There's no time. And the round goes to BI 6 6. We're going to overtime, folks. In map 3. Six, six. Ace on the CT side. Whoever wins the CT side is gonna win. But Gloss Karin gets head glitched. That's huge. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. So now they're actually... Ace are gonna be running only one towards Banana. They believe Pigs has the aim and the skill to anchor towards the spawn site. Whereas they you want three players, no matter what, basically. Always on the B-bomb site on CVC. It's just... It's almost impossible to defend with two players. It's so big and it's so hard to have those players support each other that you want three, a third player to basically fill the gap between them. So now Loon towards Apps is going to peek towards Crawler. Both will headshot the other player, but Loon will get out of there with his life and the information, more importantly. See, now the CTs are in the advantage here because they have the information that's towards mid, but Glaceon at the same time should not be whiffing that shot towards Dwarf in mid. Pig's trying to go for the flank, that's Bronco getting the kill. Will B.I. still commit towards B? They did just get a kill towards Banana, but Curler with the kill on Lunatic suggests that they will be committing towards this bomb site. One on four for Lego. He doesn't want to fight this, and Lefon with the kill. Brock with a double. And now, Ace on the T side. They have to win this if they do not want to lose this series. Map point, ser map point match point, serious point for B.I. And this is a very important game. I'd say these two teams are probably the two top tier two teams. Curb, uh, I G casting. Uh, okay. So now we will see. Okay, so Pigs will get actually a kill on Crawler. Crawler calmly overgressing towards mid. He is one of the top players for BI this match, but at the same time, he will get taken down by Piggies. And he's gone the kills, but at the same time, I'm getting exploit there. Four on four. Leif on towards new box, Dwarf towards CT, but Gloss Karin will take down Lego towards mid. Very, very important kill. Bronco is as well towards mid. That smoke will have a gap in it. He can jump over that. And if Pigs. Working to get this kill towards Bronco. He's cap. Bronco getting stuck in towards Cubby, but he still gets the kill. Bronco with the incredible shot on pigs. And got lost cards behind them. BI win the map. BI win the series. And BI have beat it ace. I thank you all for watching this stream. I thank you all for watching this stream. I hope you guys enjoyed. And till next time which is like three seconds from now. Peace.